Hi guys, good morning. It's just me, Mr. Ron. Well, today is uh, Monday morning, quarter past eight, July 26th. I slept really well last night. My back feels really strong this morning. And uh, as you can see from the background, uh, nice and bright and sunny day today. Going to be warm. Have a bottle of water in my pocket. Getting ready to go walking 10 miles today. And uh, we're starting an egg fast. Uh, five day egg fast this week and uh, the goal is to get down to uh, the 220s before my uh, 65th birthday next Sunday. Uh, now I uh, I had one egg this morning, part of my egg loaf I made yesterday and uh, according to the egg fast rules you're supposed to have uh, an egg in the morning at, uh, you know, at least a half an hour before you you uh, get going in the morning and uh, and I had two cups of coffee in me, and I had some water in me already, and I got a water with me. And uh, I know it's not going to be enough water for the 10 miles, so I'll stop along the way to a few stores, and I'll pick up something to drink, like a Gatorade or something like that, something that's sugar-free. But uh, the goal is definitely to get in the 225 range. If I could, that would be 100-pound weight loss before my birthday. I would be so happy if I could do that. But, uh, yeah, it's going really good. This is all part of uh, Derek's Weight Loss Journey Challenge. Uh, so far, we have 75,000 steps in for the month, uh, about 30 miles in. We're going to try to push hard this week to get some more mileage in. But, uh, yeah, it's going good. I'll let you guys go, and I'll follow this up with a post uh, maybe halfway through the day and when I finish today's day and uh, put this all together for the YouTube channel, Ron's Weight Loss Journey. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, you guys are amazing. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And uh, talk to you later. Oh, hi, guys. So it's just me, Mr. Ron. Well, this is the update where I am. I'm just about at the number six schoolhouse. I got uh, 8,000 steps in and four miles in. And it's a uh, quarter of uh, uh, 12 in the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the number six schoolhouse, grab out a few photographs, and I'm going to take a left on Wachusa Street, head down to uh, Central Street, and uh, stop at the coffee shop along the way, grab out a couple of eggs, I think, and get a uh, nice coffee and a cold drink for the way home, and then I'm going to finish my walk, and, uh, and it's probably be another three, four miles going home that way, and that'll give me almost eight miles for today. But it's, uh, it's not that bad. I'm, I'm in the uh, shaded area, and I'm staying in the uh, high goodness with the road. I, we thought walking up this way from Pleasant Street to my house that it was going to be safe walking. And it's not really that bad. I mean, it's got like kind of like a sidewalk with a curb. And as long as you're high close to the road, you're fine. And uh, I'm sitting on the back end of a railing over here and in, the, in the shaded area, and I... Uh, I already drank two things of water this morning and uh, I still feel pretty good. My legs aren't cramped. It's, you know, it's, um, I've never done a 10 mile walk before in a day. So, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I got my earbuds on. As you can see, one just almost fell on my ear, but I got a, uh, I made a uh, awesome motivational playlist on Spotify. And then every now and then I'll pop into my YouTube videos that I watch about the, uh, the audits and all the uh, good stuff that's going on and about to go on and so I'll just be vigilant when it comes to that that uh, things could change in a hurry in this country and uh, just got to be aware of it and hopefully nothing will happen but then again you never know in this nutty world that we live in and uh, in the meantime you just take one day at a time you get out there and enjoy yourself and live one day like it's your last day and uh, hopefully it won't be but uh, you know I'm ready to go anytime the good Lord wants to take my soul and uh, so, you know, it's going good, and uh, we're going to continue walking, and uh, hopefully when we get down to, uh, we get down to the uh, coffee shop, I'll probably do another video post, and uh, I'll tack all these in together, and uh, I thought maybe when I go down there, I'm going to get an egg, an egg sandwich, because I'm doing an egg fast this week, but I'm not going to eat the bread, and uh, that's perfectly fine. And uh, I have uh, eight eggs ready for me when I go home. I made a nice egg loaf yesterday, and I'm just going to warm it up in the mic and uh, add a little bit of uh, sugar-free uh, maple syrup on it. Yeah, just a little bit, not much, because I'm doing an egg fast, mind you, in this way. This is the most important week of my life right now. I'm 65 years old, come Sunday, and I want to get my weight down to uh, 
225 or pretty close to it in the 100 uh, pound weight of uh, my weight loss journey when I uh, losing the uh, weight I never lost 100 pounds before in my life I gained over I gained a lot of weight in my life and over the years but I never lost 100 pounds and I thought that would be really cool and a nice birthday present and uh, yeah you're welcome to say happy birthday to me guys don't want anything for you guys other than a nice birthday wish and uh not even going to do any cake this year no more no more of that stuff for me anymore i uh going forward i have to really really be careful and vigilant on what i eat put in my mouth because uh you know when my uncle robert passed away we had that memorial i i gained six freaking pounds from that and um, i don't even swear but you know, I'm I'm busting my hump to get rid of my weight, and because of four days, I ate what I wanted to eat, and as a result, I gained six pounds. It ain't happening no more. You know, I'm tired of it. You know, you know, we shouldn't have to depend on an egg fast to bail us out or a beef and butter fast. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna kill the video. I'm gonna get walking because uh, I uh, want to get moving. I don't want to sit too long because my legs get cramped up, and I don't feel like moving anymore. But yeah, stay safe, stay vigilant. Love you guys. You guys are amazing. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ron's Weight Loss Journey. Oh, hi guys. Good afternoon. Well, this is Mr. Ron. Well, we didn't quite get uh, 10 miles, but we got six and a half and uh, 15,000 steps in. It is now... Uh, Pretty close to 2.30 in the afternoon, and uh, my apartment's like uh, 50 yards away from me, and uh, trying to get some water in me, and rest up, grab something to eat, and rest up, and have some more water. But you know, the walk went well. Um, not doing any more walk today, but uh, it's a very warm day today. It's hazy out right now. It's muggy. It's about 95 degrees, and I think, uh, six and a half miles on a warm day is pretty damn good but uh as you can see i'm really really tired right now my back is killing me and my laser i just can't uh, do any more walking but it's just time to go rest up and just take it easy maybe go home and take a nice cool shower and uh rest up for tomorrow going down to the studio in the morning uh wednesday we're planning on another walk and then tuesday and thursday we film out the concert so that I average about three miles on each concert that I film. So, uh, yeah, so this is Mr. Ron. Let me know what you think about my walking for today. Love you guys. I am good. I'm, I'm okay. Just sore. But it's to be expected. And uh, we're going to have my egg loaf for today when I go home. And uh, I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm more tired and more exhausted from uh, not getting enough water into me today. So just a uh, rule of thumb, if you're going to go walking, make sure you bring plenty of water. And uh, that would have helped out a lot more, but the, it would have just watered me down. And what I mean by that is it weights me down when I carry an extra weight with water and stuff. So maybe I'm thinking about getting a backpack and uh, put some water in there when I go walking from now on so I don't dehydrate. And anyways, uh, love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Remember, you guys are amazing. Love you guys. Be watching for my next video. Bye.